So on Mondays and Fridays, I set up like a text protocol for safety because I'm the only one in the theater on those days usually. And so in case I get hurt, it, it, it's nice to have somebody checking on me like every hour or so. So this morning, I always text when I get in and I text my coworker my boss's favorite phrase, which is your dreams were your ticket out. And I said, you know, they say your dreams are your ticket out, but then my alarm went off, so I guess I'm here. Cause oh my goodness, this morning, my alarm went off and I was so confused as to why I was at work, like, or why it was going off. And I was like, oh right, I have to work. And then like, I turned the first alarm off because I've got like 17 alarms set. I think it's like actually like six. First one went off and then I was like, kind of awake. I'm trying to look at my schedule for next month. Nope, not that one. Um, 2021. Um, I'm trying to look at my schedule for next month because next month starts tomorrow and I don't have it yet. <laughs> uh, just searching 2021 probably was not the way to go. Uh, anyways, yeah, it was it was rough this morning getting up, but we are up now, obviously. I've been at work for a little bit. Like I, I had my breakfast drink and I stuff and I stuff. I clearly cannot do two things at once. Okay, we have the schedule. It took a while to find it, but we have the schedule and it's actually looking like a pretty busy month. I knew that there, I didn't think I was gonna have to work this Thursday because I heard that the thing that normally happens on Wednesday is not happening on Wednesday, but there's something else happening. So yeah, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> I work one, two, three, four, five, six days in a row. <laughs> Love seeing this like the day before it starts. Anyways, okay, well, I feel good that I actually have this now because um, I was getting a little stressed that I didn't have it yet. Okay, we just printed that upstairs. Now we can focus on other things. Ugh, ugh. That's okay though, it's always, you know, nice to make money. Anyways, I guess now I'm gonna go upstairs. There is a printer right here, but this printer only prints black and white. And I like the schedule to be in color because it, um, the different colors depend on what's happening. Like if it's one color, it means it's a recording. If it's another color, it means it's a live. If it's another color, it means it's a rental, blah, 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 blah. So it's nice to have it in color to just kind of like quick glance at it. But then what I'll do is I have a dry erase board that I will also, oh, there we go. <laughs> the whole lighting, I know. Um, I have a dry erase board that then I write everything down on. So I'm like, really on top of it, plus the satisfaction of being able to wipe <laughs> the day off when it's done. I've been like a little behind on that lately, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, love stairs first thing in the morning. It's like <laughs> literally, I was basically just below this room and I had to come all the way over <laughs> to the printer. But yes, got the schedule and now I'm gonna get to actually working today. I mean, this is important too. And I'll probably do my schedule at one point because I don't really have a ton to do today. So that is exciting. I mean, obviously I have a lot to do, but nothing's time constrained. Huh. I'm gonna go die from walking up the stairs and then I'm gonna go walk back down them. <laughs> you know, work was kind of blah. And then I came home and I got in the shower and the water temperature just would not. <laughs> stay what I put it at. It was like, just trying to get it to what I wanted it when I first got in was impossible. It was like too hot, too hot, too hot, too hot. Okay, I got it perfect. And then like 30 seconds later, it was like, now I'm gonna be really cold. So that was, that was great, <laughs> loved that. Um, ended up cutting myself when I was shaving, which I never do because I was like shaving right around my ankle and then cold water blast. So that was fun. But um, yeah, so today's just kind of like a lame day, but I'm home now. I feel, once I was like getting ready to leave work and I had myself kind of organized for the next month at work with the schedule and everything, I did feel a lot better about things. <laughs> but yeah, it was just a lot of like, <sighs> but I did get this shirt in the mail today. It's got like the little tie up. It's super cute. It's uh, from Old Navy. Uh, it's really funny. So I got that like 
bone colored shirt. This is a t-shirt with the tie. And it was a completely different fabric than I thought it was going to be. Like I thought it was going to be like a more lightweight one, but it's actually a thicker one. And then this one, I thought because it's got the tie, I thought it was going to be like the same as that shirt, just long sleeved. And um, no, this is like a fleece one. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm not gonna be able to wear this for long because I'm dying, but I just wanted to try it on. But it's nice and it'll be great for Blind Channel because it's... Blind Channel isn't too far from here, but temperature-wise it is usually several degrees less warm. So, like, all through the summer up there I usually sleep in pants because it's just... it gets cold at night. But that's besides the point. We're not quite there yet in the thinking about what to pack, except every day I think about what to pack, but we're not there at the actual physical packing, and I think that's what is nice about all this sewing that I'm doing because normally I would already be starting to pack at this point but we're gonna put it off for a bit anyways it is 20 to 1 I have some shredded cheese <laughs> and some crackers and that's gonna be my lunch because I don't know lately for lunch I've just been more snacky than hungry and it's not even like super hungry it's like no I need to eat something but I just nothing is appealing to me so cheese and crackers seems all right <laughs> And um, once I finish that, I'm going to get back into cutting things. <laughs> Today's going to be day of cutting things. And then tomorrow, maybe we'll start sewing. We'll see how far we get today. But that's the plan. Actually, probably first change out of this before I melt is 25 degrees in my room. And then do those things. <laughs> Been losing all momentum. Just because it's easy. That don't make it better. Better, better, better I wanna dig my hands deep down in the dirt Take a walk Alrighty, so I have just this. been cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting different types of fabrics and patterns and such forever. It's like I got home, I think it was like 12.30 It's 6.30 now, I just stopped and had dinner um, But yeah, I've been watching The Rookie some more and I think like I mentioned it yesterday in the last or in the last vlog is um, everything is like so condensed like within one episode and within three days in in the show one guy kills somebody the brother of that guy comes after him and tries to kill him and then there's like a massive shootout in an apartment building and I'm like I really feel like that probably wouldn't happen doesn't happen like that I don't know anyways and plus the uh, like I've never actually watched like a cop show before other than Brooklyn Nine-Nine and so it's like they're like trying to touch on issues with policing but they just like touch it and then they run away so anyways problems there's so many problems everywhere in the world we're getting introspective anyways I will show you where I am at in terms of things that I now need to sew. I kind of showed this yesterday. I've got lanyards. There's, I think I counted them. Well, I know I counted them. I think there's 49 here. I didn't even bother counting these because I don't want to know. And then, oh, more lanyards over here. I got a couple of oversized scrunchies here. More wristlets, even though I said I wasn't going to make any more. It's just because I had the fabric. More of these. And then I think there's 36 handkerchiefs <laughs> bandanas whatever you want to call them so I definitely have my work cut out for me I'm gonna switch focus from the cutting to the actual sewing and I'm gonna switch focus onto the bandanas because I don't know the least effort I think <laughs> I mean there's still quite a bit of effort I have to press them and everything but unlike the lanyards where I have to iron them in half and then iron them and then iron them and then less effort so I'm going with that there are a couple fabrics that I didn't cut. Um, this one here, and then that one there. I got them to make masks because I thought my mom would like them, at least the, it's not a unicorn, the seahorse. Not even close to the same thing. Um, but I've decided that I don't really like the fabric, so I'm not gonna make anything with them at the moment, I think. What my plan was previously was to make them as liners for bags, like do a corduroy or a denim outside of a bag and use them for liners. I think that's still currently the plan. I mean, we will see how things go. And then also the fabric that I made the bags out with the whales on them. 
I was going to make some bandanas with them, but initially when I got it, I was like, I am going to make pot holders with these. And so I think I'm going to save that to make pot holders when I get back from Blind Channel because I do not have time to learn to make a new thing before I go. She says that now. Hold me to it, please, because I have problems. I, I have beast mode or I have nothing. And right now we are in beast mode for no reason. I got two weeks, but nope gotta do it all at once so I'm gonna get the sewing machine out put my show back on and see how long I can stay conscious for because I'm feeling quite tired today um didn't nap which is fantastic and um just hoping that it'll mean I get to sleep early-ish tonight <laughs> trying to not complain about being tired like I mentioned I think it was in the last vlog I don't even know but like just like embracing it and trying to go to sleep at a reasonable time Good morning. It is the next day. I am up and moving. I set an alarm for 9, 9.15 and 9.30 and um, I was laying in bed thinking I was waiting for the 9.30 one to go off but I had turned it off at some point. So I woke up at like 10.20 <laughs> and I had a text from my friend from like 10 saying, hey are you up yet? I was like, yes, lol. <laughs> um, and I haven't heard from back and I haven't heard back from him yet. It's been like 20 minutes so I'm like, Maybe we aren't going to hang out today because we discussed potentially hanging out today um, once he was done all his appointments and everything. But we shall see. If not, I have sewing to do. We know this. <laughs> I managed to get a couple of the bandanas sewed yesterday. I don't know why I said that kind of weird. Um, all the white ones and then all the ones that need it. The purpley blue. <laughs> thread and then I have some that need like a darker blue thread and so I'm just working through them um, as I <laughs> get rid of the sleep in my eyes I'm just working through them in what color thread matches I figure those ones I don't know they everything I'm making has things that annoy me to a different extent um, so th those are just a lot of effort because you get so, uh, so much ironing and then the cotton reusable cotton pads, you gotta sew around the edge, and you gotta clip it, then you gotta flip it, then you gotta sew it again. So, like, everything has its own thing that makes it take a while, but I don't know. I'm enjoying it, so that's good. And I'm just gonna sew, 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 and see where we're at after that. But I think if I get everything done that I have cut, then that'll be a good uh, level of stock to bring out. So, we will see. But my friend just texted me back, so I'm just gonna have my breakfast drink. And then get dressed and see what we're going to do next. It's going to be a hot day today. I think it's supposed to get to like 26 or 27 degrees. And it's already 26 and a half in my room. So love that. We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun. Or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love Disregard the thought of ever having to part For summer is for falling in
both know to be fleeting Like the last breath of a sunset Right before the day is dead But maybe the heat of today could keep even winter away Alrighty, and with that, I am back home. It 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 is currently about 3:30. It is warm outside. I think it's like 28 degrees out there. Shocking, or 26. Shockingly, it's only 27 in my room right now, which is a miracle. I've closed my door for a minute so that I can, you know, speak without the fan being super loud. But I'm gonna open up in a second. Otherwise, it's just gonna completely get super hot. Uh, I I need to switch to sewing. I mean, that's. It's just kind of the reality of it, but also I need to drink a lot of water. We mostly just drove around for quite a while. We did go for a nice long walk though, as you saw. Um, beautiful, but to get back up from the beach was just like... <laughs> switchbacks like crazy, but it was really nice. And um, yeah, like I said, I think I'm just going to get into sewing here. Watch some more of The Rookie. I'm on season two now. There's only currently two seasons. I don't know if there's going to be more. Um, and I think I'm going to eat these crackers because I, I had like some fries while we were out. But not that crackers is better, but crackers is something to hold me over until dinner, which I have no idea what it's going to be. And I have no idea when it's going to be, but it is what it is. Anyways, I am going to open up my door before I melt more like you can see like I'm just I'm so sweaty I'm so sweaty it was like a 2k walk we did and it was like I said hills anyways I'm rambling I'm gonna go because time crunch is what we are at <laughs> not really but like kind of I've had like the most boringest of days well I guess just not exciting so it is currently 11 27 <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to bed because I have to work at 7 tomorrow uh but all I did was I finished sewing all the bandanas I could sew. There's two sets that I couldn't because I don't have thread that matches close enough to it. And then I ironed a ton of lanyards, like over half of what I have. Like it's ridiculous. Good, but ridiculous. So those are all ironed and oh, that's heavy. <laughs> and then all my bandanas are sew and save those. So that's exciting at least. Oh, heavy. <laughs> And it is a brisk 28.8 degrees in here, which I am loving. I am glistening, as you can see. I just put my pajamas in the freezer in hopes that that will help somehow, like, bring my core temperature down when I change, because cause I'm, like, concerned about trying to get to sleep in this. But, uh, we will see. It's, um, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, but then it's supposed to rain for a couple days, I think, so that could be helpful. Anyways. I think I'm gonna go end the vlog here because like I said, I gotta get to sleep soon and um, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>